Kanye West goes from MAGA Everything woke turns to shit, okay? It's true. All the way to I like Hitler. I see I I see good things about Hitler also. What the fuck? Really? Wow. I'm Jazz Gonzo and this is what's next. Ob du glaubst, dass ich fleißig gewesen bin. Hey, what's up, party people? Jazz Braganzo here, another episode of What's Next, your daily. Happy Friday. It's been a hell of a 24 hours, hasn't it been? I'll tell you right now, it has been. Mwah. You go from Tucker Carlson to your comments on Instagram, Def Contrary. Then you go to Mar Largo and make comments with one Nick Fuentes. Then you go on Tim Pool show and then walk off. Can you top yourself? Can you? Well, Kanye told himself, you know what? Hold my beer. I like Hitler. Yikes. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Kanye West praises Hitler on Alex Jones' show. We got to stop dissing the Nazis. Yes, stop dissing them. They're good people. Rapper and entrepreneur Kanye West praised Hitler on Thursday morning during an appearance on Alex Jones' show. As he continued his attacks on Jews, Jones largely approved of West's incendiary, incendiary attacks. Go and get that almost. Ye, I see good things about Hitler. Love all people. I like Hitler, West said, after praising the good things that the genocidal Nazi uh, dictator said and did. Other than the murder of 6 million Jews and 5 million other prisoners in death camps after launching World War II. Let's take a listen, shall we? That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I, I, see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. Jew, I love everyone. And Jewish people are not going to tell me, you can love... Um, you know, yeah, us. this is uh, this is a warning. I should have gave you a warning on this, but uh, this is you know what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician, you can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good. And I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. Wow. Wow. Microphones. So that excuses the 6 million Jews. Ah, okay, sure. But uh, he continues. Do I round up Jews in Nazi Germany? Do I get love then? Schwarzenegger said he loved Hitler. They gave him an award. I I'm just saying, I don't like Nazis, and I don't like what some of the mafias are doing either. I like Literally. Hitler. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Keeps going. It's just an avalanche. Nazi racial beliefs targeted Jews, uh, but also regarded blacks as inferior. The Nazi regime banned interracial relationships, also sterilized some interracial people, and imprisoned others in concentration camps. West appeared on Alex Jones' show wearing a black mask. Why? We, we don't know. Off the meds. Obscuring his entire face. West appeared alongside anti-Semite Nick Fuentes, who erroneously cited the Talmud, a compendium of Jewish law to claimly false that Jews detest Gentiles and falsely claim that Jews allow Jews law, Jewish law, excuse me, allows pedophilia in certain cases. Fuentes said that neither Donald Trump nor Governor Ron DeSantis would put Jesus first. Jones did not push back on West's Fuentes' claims, except to say that he did not blame Jews for all the world's ills. He then compared Israel's COVID-19 vaccine policies to the work of Nazi doctor Joseph Mengele. Mengele was involved in deciding which Jews would be murdered and would be enslaved for forced labor. He also conducted notorious and bizarre forcible experiments on inmates, most notably twins. Yeah, you can read up all that. It is just, it's absolutely horrific. What continues to attack Zionists, claiming that a small group of 300 Zionist Jews control the media and politics. He mocked incoming Israel, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu using a net and other props. The interview was carried on Jones' own platform after he was kicked off of YouTube and most other social media platforms several years ago. Jones defended the interview with West as an exercise of free 
speech. We go from that little ditty to this. Bar bar. Kanye West no longer buying parlor after string of anti-Semitic rants. Did you think it was going to go through? I totally forgot about this. The Twitter alternative social media platform Parler announced on Thursday that, yeah, eh, we're not going to go through with it. The announcement from Parler stated uh, that the company and Kanye mutually agreed to forego the sale and did not cite the rapper's string of anti-Semitic rants in recent weeks. Recently, Kanye praised Taylor, of course, claiming Jewish media conspired against him and joined forces with an out and proud white nationalist and Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes, all while refusing to apologize or curtail his speech. Wow. Just. Wow. For those who saw the Tucker Carlson interview, um, there were a couple of things that you kind of scratch your head about uh, Kanye with his talk. But he was pretty, for the, for the most part of the interview, he was okay. He wasn't conducting a, a typical interview like anybody else would with Tucker, but Tucker was able to keep him focused for the most part not let him wander off. But after that, that's when he made the comments on Instagram regarding DEFCON 3. Then continue to make incendiary comments. Then ends up in Mar-a-Lago at Trump's house with Nick Fuentes, which you get, you scratch your head, why would Trump allow Nick Fuentes in the damn building and then deny that he doesn't know who Nick Fuentes is? Then goes on Tim Pool show, and Tim was trying to keep him here. But as soon as Kanye went over here, Tim Pool had a problem. He got overwhelmed, and he really didn't know how to handle the conversation. So once he tried to say, you know what, I'm not going to say certain people. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say they. I'm not going to say certain people. You know, Nick Fuentes tried to nudge him in. That's when Kanye got up and said this I'm out. And Tim Pool's like, what the hell, man? Then we come to this. Is anyone surprised that he could go on Alex Jones's show? Did you think, did you really think Alex Jones was, was going to keep him, reel him in? Was he going to reel him in, keep him straight and say, hey, you know what? Yeah, let's not go there. Let's go here instead. No, Alex Jones just took his hands off. And then when he tried to reel him back in for the first time that I've ever seen Alex Jones be speechless. And he seemed a little bit overwhelmed regarding Yee's comments and his antics. But um, this is what Alex Jones wanted. And dude, you got it. You got plenty of it. But... Uh, Alex Jones getting back on Twitter? Yeah. I don't see that happening. I didn't see it happening before, but now you really don't see it happening. I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share, subscribe to it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.